Hello, I am Marisha and welcome to Miss Ink Stamps. I hope you're having a great day. So today I'm going to use a masking technique to create this card. The stamp set that is featured in today's video for Miss Ink Stamps is called Punny Farm Pigs. It includes some adorable sentiments such as Hogs and Kisses, Happy Mother's Day, and Missing You Pig Time. It also includes some adorable pigs, ducks, and accessories such as balloons, cakes, birthday hats, and so forth. To begin, I'm going to bring in some masking sheets. I'm then going to die cut out a circle to create a stencil. I'm then going to bring in my panel and I'm going to position and place the masking paper on my panel. Once the masking tape is secured, it is on to the next step. I am now going to bring in the circle that was die cut out from the masking paper and I'm going to position and stamp the images on there. Next, I'm going to fussy cut the images from the masking paper. I do cut on the line instead of outside of the line and I'll let you know why later. Next, I'm going to bring in my panel and the little pig stamp, I'm going to ink it up twice using an alcohol friendly ink and I'm going to stamp it twice to make sure I have a good impression. I'm then going to bring in the masking paper and I'm going to cover up the image. Now the key to masking is whichever image you want to show first or up front, that is the image that you will stamp first. Then from there you will cover it up and then stamp your next image like I'm doing right now. I'm stamping the mud. And then from there, I'm going to cover it up. But once I finish peeling off the mask, you will see the pig sitting in the mud. I then brought in Distress Oxide's Broken China and my blending brush and added the color around the pig. That is why I cut on the image instead of outside to prevent a white, halo from being placed around the pig. Next is time for the reveal, so I'm going to remove the mask. No worries about the color around the edge of the panel because I'm going to cut it down later on. Right now I'm removing the masking tape from the pig and the mud and it will reveal the pig sitting in the mud. Now it's on to the next step. Now it's time for some coloring, so I brought in E55, E57, and E59 Copic markers to color the mud. I'm going to bring in E59 first. That is the darkest color that I'm using. And I'm just outlining the lines in the mud. I'm then going to bring in the next color, which is E57. And I'm going to follow along those lines. And then from there, I'm going to bring in the lightest color, which is E55, and I'm going to follow along. Now lately, I have been playing around with the Copic markers, working on my blending technique and everything. And the only advice I can give you is to work at it, continue practicing, work at it, don't give up, and come up with your own style of blending. That's the key. You know, so many artists out there have their own way of blending and shading and everything. Come up with your own unique way. Next, it's time to color this cute pig. So I brought in RO2 and I'm just going to color the entire pig with this color. I'm then going to bring in the next color once I'm done. So right here, I'm just coloring the body. Finishing up coloring. And then I'm going to bring in RV13. I'm going to add this color around the ears, the, the top of the head, and just little areas of the body. And then I'm going to go back in with the RO2 and blend the color together. And just like you saw me color the mud, I am repeating the same step with this pig. I am going to color until it is to my liking. 
Then next, I'm going to bring back in RV13 to color the snout. To finish up the coloring process, I'm going to bring in Cool Gray C5, C1, and C3 to color the hooves. Finally, I'm going to add some highlights to the pig by bringing in my Jelly Roll Metallic Copper Pen and White Jelly Roll Number 10 Pen. Then it's on to the next step. After I die cut the panel, it is time to stamp my sentiment. So I decided to use Missing You Pig Time. That is so cute. So I'm going to position the stamp. I'm then going to ink it and stamp it twice just to make sure I have a good impression. Next, it is time to add my panel to my card front. So I'm going to bring in some foam tape. And once I remove the backing, I'm going to attach the panel to a A2 standard size top folding card base, which is cut down to four and a quarter by five and a half inches. I'm then going to take my card back over to the Misty and I'm going to add an adorable duck stamp and another sentiment on the inside that reads hogs and kisses. And there you have it, this card is done. An easy masking technique to create such a cute card. Thank you so much for joining me on today. I appreciate you so much for stopping by. For more information regarding Miss Ink Stamps products, visit MissInkStamps.com. Thanks for watching and happy crafting.